This design challenge is called Balloon Car Race to the Finish. Our task is to create an unmanned vehicle to get supplies safely to a village. If the cargo falls out, we're disqualified. Our constraints are the vehicle has to be 3 inches long to 7 inches long and 2 inches wide to 6 inches wide. We also must make 3 wheels and we have 2 hours to construct the device. Our materials are 1 balloon, 1 plastic cup, 2 sheets of cardstock, 2 rubber bands, 2 popsicle sticks, 1 large popsicle stick, 3 straws, 1 pipe cleaner, 1 sheet colored paper, 2 paper clips, and 2 index cards. Uh, all we need to use a cup as a wheel and cut the cup into three parts So because we, we needed three wheels. I had to put them on the bottom and I had to use the straw to like, tie together as an axle so it was all spin at once. And then I was going to put parts on top to hold the stormtrooper and use rubber bands in the pipe cleaner to hold down the balloon and clamp to the top. Alright, for my brainstorming, instead of drawing out what the car would be, I drew out what the video would be, right? So I, I drew us like recording the video and how it works. And since our car is going to work amazing, I feel like a dude surprised by how good the car works because it's better than everyone else's. For my brainstorming, I used the cup as a body and put popsicle sticks as axles through the bottom and straws for wheels cut in a circular shape. I put the large popsicle stick vertically through the cup with the balloon wrapped around the top of it to, pu to push the cup and the, car the cargo will go inside of the cup. Uh, we had to cut the cup into three different parts so we could attach it to the bottom of our car so we could travel the distance. Next, after planning for a bit, we decided to try to use the, pop or the pipe cleaner as an axle to connect the two wheels. We ran into a few problems though, and so we decided to use the paper to cover the outside of the wheels and cut a hole in it for a place to put the axle through. The pipe cleaner proved to be too flimsy, so we decided to run it through the middle of a straw and use that as our axle. Uh, we were trying to place the straw to connect into the, the center of the wheel, so we were making a hole for it and trying to connect it and make it as tight as possible and secure. Alright, so one of the wheels is rolling and the car is moving, and, and we did get it to move, but it wasn't like Forrest Gump or nothing. Uh, here we're trying to figure out how we can connect the balloon to the wheels of the car and see how we, we could leave it there attached. This is our final build of the car. Since we ran out of time, this is all we could do. And this is the result, as you can see right, what's happening right here. Go. Step on the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the end, we ran out of time and weren't able to complete the car. And if I would do it again, the thing I would do is probably build the body first rather than trying to go for the wheels because that just made us run into a whole bunch of problems. Uh, like Daniel, if I could do it again, I'd probably start on the body a little bit more and focus on that and how we could attach the balloon because here we only focus on the wheels. I mean, as they can roll. We this just don't have a body that it would yeah. work with, or like it's that blue's attached with. Dude, like, you actually kind of like, I don't even think she wants us to go to car, to be honest with y'all. Because I'm looking around, and none of these fools got a car. So, I mean, if I were to do it again, I wouldn't. <laughs>